what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video today we're actually going to be doing something very exciting that i told you on the last video that we were going to be doing and well, yeah today we're going to be going and picking up my center console box for my single cap as i told you we, we had been going to captain customs and we have been getting the box done over there with him he got down on the work and everything came out pretty bad as exactly how i wanted it oh well, yeah right now i'm gonna, I'm gonna be picking it up and then i'm gonna be showing y'all exactly what it, how it looks and then we're gonna be taking out the seats and then installing the console inside the box and then well i'm just gonna be showing you how it looks in there and everything and how the colors somewhat match so that we can get this interior looking a little bit better and a little bit more on point you know because before i had the stock v6 interior and well obviously it was ugly it came with the ugly seats it came with the ugly center seat too it had like the one that didn't even go down but i ended up putting my dad's from this one right here I ended up putting the center seat and well yeah i think he has it i think he said he he'll actually sell it too i think for like 150 so if y'all want it it's from a 2012 Silverado. it just has a little indent and then it has the two seats two cup holders and well yeah it picks up and everything so that you can sit down on it too also yeah hit me up on instagram if y'all want that one but yeah guys i will be at shootout this weekend in houston texas so make sure to catch me over there and say what's up if y'all see me walking around. No, I will not be in my single cap because I don't have a trailer for it and I'm not going to risk taking it over there again. <laughs> it's all good, you know, so we'll just have to wait till we get another trailer and then we'll I'll borrow my dad's truck and we'll take it over there. But either way right now, it's not show ready and we'll, I want it to be show ready to take it over there. It could be over there paleteando. But yeah, right now, I mean, it's still a clean truck, you know, and shit, but it has its perks, like I said. It was an old truck. It was a V6. I mean, it is still a V6, my bad. But it was a work truck and all that shit. So, yeah, yeah, the paint got beat up and shit like that. It actually, we actually got it uh, fixed a little bit, but the guy didn't do a good color match running. So, like I said, we're just going to wait until we get the paint and stuff for this one, which is pretty much going to be after we do the, the box right here, get all the sound system finished. And then I might be going a little bit lower, narrowing the rear end. So that we could do stuff so that it won't be rubbing on my back bed or anything like that. Just little stuff like that. And then we'll start worrying about the paint and getting it on point. We are actually going to be taking this bitch. And I forgot to show y'all too. But we got some new stuff installed on this baby that I haven't showed. Because, well, I showed out the last video and we ended up getting the subs. But yeah, now we got these installed right here. Puro carta music. <laughs> That's right guys, we finally got the Bolt speakers already. We ended up going with JBLs. They were pretty pricey already. So yeah, we ended up going with these, with some 300 watts each on both sides. Um, some 6.5, they glow and they have a light and everything like that. And then we ended up getting some rock lights for it too. As y'all can see right there, that's the rock light right there. They shine pretty good in the night to be honest. And well, yeah, little by little, I told you we're going to be getting stuff for this one. It's coming along slowly but surely. I'll show you maybe later on if I can. The system, how it sounds. It sounds like I said I was going to be on point. It sounds hella loud. And then now the bass is hitting perfect on it. it sounds on point. We're actually going to be taking this one to Houston too. So like I said, stay tuned for the videos. We're going to be going to Crosby and we're going to be going to the Houston show. So yeah, those might be two different videos subscribe motherfuckers okay guys enough talking time to show you guys the box appreciate captain cousin for all the words he got down like i said make sure to hit him up on instagram like i said to a couple of people too he's not gonna be doing the single cap boxes but if you got like big ass boxes or blow throughs and shit you want done he'll definitely do that shit and well, yeah like i said <laughs> Okay guys, a little expl explanation of the box. Pretty much right here, we got chrome mesh that I personally asked for. And then we got right here, we got a tweeter hole 
So we could put a one inch tweeter, which is the DS18s ones that I have. We're gonna be putting a DS18 6.5 right there. He had these black cup holders before, but as I bought these on my own, the chrome ones. These right here, switches to the LEDs that are gonna be behind here. That you go only see probably inside the truck. Then right here, he has these um, input shit right here. You could charge your phone right there. Put the bigger one right there. Pretty badass. And then right here, another custom thing that I asked for. It's a little trim right here that's wrapped in leather. And then, well, this was black suede at first, but I didn't like the way it came out. So we, had, we ended up going for a gray, which matches a whole lot better along with the truck. And then, well, yeah, we got the 10 inch right here, which is gonna be the American base probably that we're gonna be going in. It is a ported box. Yeah, the box is tuned also. It's tuned for corridos. It's tuned for rap music like Young Dolph not slowed and chopped it was either between corridos and uh slowed and chopped and well you know we had to go with the mexican music because we're taquaches but yeah this is how the box came out should be banging on point we already got one ds18 tweeter in there just see, to see how it is it looks pretty clean you can only fit this part you can't fit that circle part that comes with it but it still looks pretty badass and well, yeah, like I said, we're going to be putting another DS18 red tip on there. And well, yeah, this is a little design, too, that I kind of asked for. He just mocked it up to, like, where it fits in there perfectly. Pretty badass design. Came out good. And well, yeah, the whole box came out good. Like I said, we're going to need to get all this stuff wired, like the lights and the inputs. We're going to be going probably to the homie Alex. He's going to be getting that stuff wired, the one that did the lights and the single cap. Also, I don't think I showed you on the last video. But yeah, the lights are also working on point. So yeah, we got Takwacha Dad over here. <laughs> and well, yeah, the homie Alex, he got down. He put the little fog light switch right there. And then well, obviously these are right there for the LEDs. Yeah, we got the LEDs. I think these are probably going out already, to be honest. But honestly, in the night, they still work light. They still work good. But right now, in the day, I noticed that they look a little brighter, the top ones. But yeah, everything's working good, badass. The blinkers are working again too. Yeah, I saw in a couple videos like only the headlight will work, not even the blinker or the LEDs. But yeah, like I said, everything's getting on point on this truck. And we just got this baby. So now the interior is gonna be feeling a little bit more comfortable. I have somewhere to rest my hand and somewhere to put some cups and shit. And we are, like I said, stay tuned because we're gonna be getting all this system. We're gonna the S18, these connected. And then I'm thinking about getting some pillars with the tweeter because I have another pair of tweeters. So I'm thinking about doing it right here, put another tweeter, just so it could be a little bit louder. And then we, have, we already have these, like I showed you in previous videos. Some in there, some in there. And then what the box is gonna be going right here. The box matches pretty good, to be honest with the seats. The seats are just a little bit dirty, but I feel like we clean them, they'll match a little bit better even more. All right guys, so we're gonna try to take the seats off here. This, These two are in the back right here, and those two in the back I already had loose in them because to take off the box the last time but yeah i still have these tied in right here on both sides so yeah we're gonna be taking those make sure to take those off and well yeah the seats should come right off to be honest and well yeah i pick it up right now when we got the seat out just like that guys we got the seat out we got a little mysteries back here with my girl's fucking shoes and just like that guys we got the console in i think it looks pretty sick not gonna lie looks sick as hell and well yeah everything sits pretty flush we were planning on doing it like a straight right here, but I think it was gonna look too off. Right now it looks pretty good. Oh well, yeah, everything's sitting good. It sits at a good height too. And well yeah, it's pretty badass box. Matches the seats pretty decently also. Once again, appreciate Captain Customs for the work. Did a badass job. That's it, that tweeter looking sick as hell right there in that spot too, to be honest. I'm glad I put it in that spot. And then well yeah, I like how we did that too, right there. It's gonna look clean. Oh well, yeah, everything's good. I just need to get all this wire, the lights wired and all that stuff. Like I said, we're gonna be going with Alex to get all that done. But everything seems good. There's a good enough space back here so that the sub could fit. So hell yeah, everything's looking good. And we're just gonna put the seat back in right here. And then we'll, we'll be rolling some cinematics exactly about how the truck looks and everything. Also, please, someone let me know. This is the last thing probably that I need done. Right here, it's just get this freaking seat belt fixed. Someone point me in the right direction to find someone who could make a bracket for that so that I could be rolling with the seatbelts good and shit. 
But like I said, the interior is coming along pretty decently. Now we're just gonna find, need to find this dash because it has a little crack all the way at the end over there, right where that cup's at. And well, yeah, pretty much all this stuff is new in here already. Like the, this right here, we could just get these wrapped and all the everything else wrapped, to be honest. That little piece too. Let me know. <laughs> and then, yeah, we might need this. Actually, yeah, we do. Because uh, this one's broken right here. So yeah, we're gonna see what's up about that. But I'm glad we got this baby already. Okay guys, enough staring at the damn box. For like 20 minutes, I was just looking at it. I was like, damn, I feel like, ugh. But yeah, it looks pretty good, honestly. I'm happy that I got the center console, you know? You know, it took a decent amount of time, but like I said, good work takes time. So I appreciate the guy from Captain Customs. Like I said, follow him on Instagram. Follow him on all that shit. He gets down on the work. He gets down on the wrapping of the interior. He gets down on making all the trims. Cutting you know, all the shit, everything. Appreciate you, bro, like I said. Now, let's get these seats back in there, and then maybe we'll take it out for a little cruise and shit like that, and we'll give you some more cinematics of how it looks with the seats in there and everything like that. Sheesh! Shit looks clean, guys. Yes, and no, it's not perfect. It's not matching that badass. It still matches pretty decently, you know? So, I'm happy with the way it came out. Obviously, later on, like I told you, we're going to be going a whole different color in this interior, so it didn't really matter, but I just wanted it as close as possible to the seats, just so all of this right here could look the same. Because, obviously, this part right here is gray, and some parts right here in this color, too. And, well, yeah, like I said, though, we're going to be getting it wrapped, so it doesn't really matter. Just like that, we're going to be getting it wrapped, and that's black. But, yeah, slowly but surely, some stuff is getting in here. And, well, yeah, it's going to start to look clean. Love the way it looks, to be honest came out just exactly how I wanted it, just how I drew it up. Yeah, I might not have those thousand dollar red bottoms, but shit, I got the thousand dollar box, you know. Yeah, I don't really like using that shit. Maybe later on, you know, we get up in this YouTube and shit, we start flexing on like, fucking Static Leo or fucking on the gas and shit. Then maybe, yeah, then I'll start buying some drip and shit. For now, we're just gonna stick with these thousand dollar boxes, you know. Still makes me really happy in my heart, to be honest. I have stuff like this in my truck because I have dreams for my truck and it's slowly getting up to where I want to. Everything's patience. Everything's at my own pace, you know, todo a su tiempo. Just gotta keep going, keep going with the build. Like I said, if you're new, subscribe because we got tons and tons of more videos coming. I'm not gonna stop making these videos. I don't care if we'd never get famous. I don't care, I do this for fun. So I'm not here to be famous and shit like that, but it would be nice, you know, it would be nice. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I do these videos because it makes me happy. It makes me, it gives me memories too, you know, maybe make memories of the truck, the little builds here and there and showing the process to not only me, Showing it to you okay guys well i think that's gonna be it for today's video i just want to thank you for watching the whole video if y'all stay to the end and well yeah like i said we got more content coming up we got the we're gonna be heading the to houston this weekend and we're gonna be doing the houston show and then we're gonna be doing the crosby i don't know if we're gonna be making two vlogs depends on how much content we get but hopefully we can make two con two videos you know just so y'all know yeah for sure got two videos to watch so yeah if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe now catch you guys on the next one peace